Morning Sixers, hope you're doing okay. Um, we're going to start this week with our new uh, project that we're going to be doing in English. You all did amazing last week with your um, non-cron reports. The stuff that you that you submitted on uh, Google Documents was incredible, so really well done with that. little small round of applause. Uh, right, today then, we're going to start our new uh, project. I want you to go onto Google and I want you to, uh, uh, to search for something called Bite Size Daily. Okay, this is a BBC website. You go to the first website here, uh, that comes up, and it's a bit like BBC, well, it's BBC Bite Size, but what they've done because of COVID-19, they've, they've made this website to help with all your homeschool learning. So once you get to it, you're going uh, to go to Daily Lessons at the top here. Uh, you might come to the homepage to start off with. Uh, if I just go back, I made sure I just went to the first link, uh, which is Daily Lessons for Homeschool in there. Uh, and you can see there that I've got Daily Lessons in the... Uh, web address so if I go back to there I go straight to the daily lessons page if you come on the home page you just click that daily lessons bit there scroll back down and we are year six so we're going to go into year six and then here you will be given the year six daily lesson page so um, today is the four uh, no today is the fifth of May but we're going to be doing the fourth of May start with our fourth of May uh, work that they put on. We're going to be a bit a day behind, but that's absolutely fine. Um, if you scroll all the way down, you can see all the stuff that they've been posting since the start um, over two pages now. But it keep, I mean, have a go, have a look what they've got. Um, it's a really, really good uh, website to go on. So by all means, drop in and out as much as you want. We're going to be looking at the English today. Um, so you'll drop on because this is now I'm now recording it yesterday as such. Um, so you'll drop on and it will say 5th of May. I want you to go to the 4th of May English though, please. Analyzing setting descriptions. So you're going to click that one there, that English, and then it's going to get you to, the, this is like the English lesson page now. Okay. So here it tells you, um, what you're going to be using. Um, this tells you what you're going to be learning. Um, and then you're basically just going to go down, scroll down the page. It's a bit like the David Attenborough website where there's just a load of videos and links for you to follow and you'll be doing your work on a piece of paper next next to you um, and that's what you'll submit uh, to get marked. So if you come down the page, you've got a video here. It says here, uh, watch this video about writing a setting description. Description is important in writing as it helps the reader to picture the place you're thinking of, like the sea cliffs in this clip. The words also add to the drama of your setting to help tell your story. Remember the words suggested by Steve Backshaw from this video to write your own setting descriptions later on. You just press play and you watch a little video there. As you scroll back down, it then says, watch this video to understand what context is and why it is important when writing a story or setting description. So another video for you to watch there. Uh, and then it explains here what context is and it gives you an example. And then you get given a practice. So activity one, watch the video once, don't make any notes. So bang, we watch the video. And then it says, watch it again, write down your three favorite settings. And then number three, decide what the context is for each setting. So you can choose from science, adventure, mystery, spooky, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And if I can't remember what uh, context is, I can scroll back up here to this video again and try and remind myself or look back at my notes that I've probably made whilst watching that video. Activity two here. Now this is where you get a few links in there. I've already gone to this link, so it's greyed out, but yours will probably be black. It says, have a look at the image or images on this news round page. So if I go to that news round page, get another tab opening up here. I've then got some cool, <laughs> brilliant, some wicked um, uh, wildlife pictures that I can go from. Amazing. Five points. Who does that look like? Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> yes, that's, that's everybody in my class laughing at all my jokes. And that's my face when I've made a joke. Uh, anyway, uh, so anyway, we want to look at them. Uh, choose your three favourite images and then it gives you some stuff for you to do there in activity two. And then your final activity three, you can either print out this activity or, or write your answers on a piece of paper. So this is the activity here. It says twinkle it. You can see my hand, my cursor move from an arrow to a hand. I click that. It takes me to this uh, page here. Like it says, I don't need to print it out. If you've got a printer, you've got something absolutely fine, go for it. But I can just read it off the page and then write my answers down on there as well. Um, and then uh, do activity three. And then here, which is really cool, it go, tells you to go where do I want to go next. So if you want to continue with the uh, any more learning at all, that's sort of the end of the lesson, but by all means not the end of the learning. I can then go to these uh, subheadings here as well. What is setting and uh, a context for writing. So again, I can click that link. If it opens, there we go. And I'll click this link as well. I like opening new tabs. And then I can always go back to my home page. And again, what is a setting? And it's got videos for me to look at there. 
and then uh, context for writing. That we've already seen that video on the home page, but then it's got some other videos and some other activities for me to do as well. Um, so then here then it's got some more websitey bits on the BBC that I can go to as well if I want to carry on with my lessons but that will then be the end of your English lesson what we're going to do this week we're going to be setting work from this website okay because they've actually got quite a cool little project for us to do with settings uh, and describing our own settings as well so that's just a quick flash um, sort of look at how to go through this website tomorrow I will just send you the link and then I think on either uh, Thursday or Friday I've got another video for you to post as well good luck with it let me see how you get on